Now that we have our base glide app created from our Google Sheet, we can take time to customize this however we would like. You'll see we have the tabs that came in from our base Google Sheet over here on the left, and on the right is where we make our adjustments. So on this main tab, listings, we can adjust our label. Pay attention that this does also adjust the menu bar label, so you'll want to keep that in mind. From here, you can also check to see if it's the appropriate source, change your icons, and make any additional, additional layout adjustments you might need. Maybe you want to adjust the style. Once you've picked your style, you can hit more options to further customize and set up all of the different functions and features that this app will now have. Use your designs and previous wireframing to help you customize this app to your design style. Be sure that you're paying attention to what's appearing on the bottom navigation screen and what isn't. If it isn't relevant to have that, simply hide those options. You can also, for each screen, click on the details screen and here you can adjust what information is being shown. Simply by closing out, you can add the plus sign to add in new and different components to reorganize this layout. And don't forget, you always have extra options over on the other side panel under each layer. So if we come back to the main screen, we can see that under our edit list, we have options to filter, we have options to group, and we also have an option to add a form. So if we would like users to be able to submit information, they can do that here too.